Agris Wade and welcome everyone to Agris Wade back in garden with me Mitchell Juno Wade in today's video feature we're going to actually recycle a plastic bottle and a breakable bottle to create one unique and sink water system which will allow you to wet your plants for a longer period than the two videos I have by using this one bottle to make a do-it-yourself water glow or by using the plastic bottle to create a drip irrigation system but this new method that I discovered is actually more effective and efficient and it's actually cheaper to do what you might have to actually spend money on is on a PVC pipe, a length of PVC pipe to cut short pieces about 4 inches and PVC glue. At the end of the day it might be similar to the homemade water globe but it will still be different because the water globe usually uses this one bottle and you just sticking it in the ground and full into water first obviously and sticking it in the ground. But this one is going to be a bit more different. Instead the breakable bottle will act like a reservoir so the whole extra water while this one will be unique in a sense that it will be upside down you'll see how it's gonna be let's go ahead so first thing you'll need is a plastic bottle now when you have the plastic bottle remove the cover and then you cut off the bottom now when you're cutting off the bottom of the bottle try your best to actually leave it as small as possible meaning do not cut from the side here but instead try to cut along here try your best to cut it right along here Now the reason why you should not actually make the bottom too wide because you need to ensure that when you put your bottle like this, it don't go through this one. So that's why it needs to be much smaller. So actually, based on the size of your top bottle or your reservoir, then you can decide how wide to cut off this base. So it's supposed to be something like this. Now what you want to do, you want to take your PVC pipe at least 4 inches to 5 inches and this length will be based on how deep your soil is. If your soil is in a shallow pot, you might actually want to try out something different in terms of the PVC pipe or find a way to actually let um, be across like this. So if you could get a PVC pipe put like this and then connect it to a T and let it be like this instead of just straight like this because of your shallow container. But if, you, but if you're using a deep container, you could do what we're going to do. Or if you're going to put in the soil directly, you could do exactly what we're going to do. So now you take your small PVC pipe, get your PVC glue, and now you just put glue around it, put glue around it, try best for it not to fall on you, like it's falling on me right now. And then you take your bottle, now make sure that the bottle that you're using, the mouth of the bottle, is the same size of fitting tight enough that the PVC pipe can fit in there without much space between the mouth of the bottle and the PVC pipe. So now you just put it in there. Right. So here it is. And you allow this to stick and dry. So now after you've done all this, you take it to the area where you actually intend to place it. Now the good thing about this idea is that when you actually put this one in the soil, it will stay there till you're ready to actually move it or change the plant or put in a new plant or whatever. Unlike the other water globe which every time you have to fill the bottle you have to remove it, fold it and put it back into the soil. This way you have to actually leave this one in the soil. You see how you could actually leave this in the soil and have the other plastic bottle or the other breakable bottle as a reservoir on top of it. Now that you've got your PVC pipe stuck to the bottle, you then take a longer PVC pipe and ensure that it's longer than the bottle and this other PVC pipe. You'll see why. So now you take your bottle and your PVC pipe, put as close to the plant as you actually want to, or if you want, because the plant is here and have another one here, you could put it in between, so that could work too. And then you put the bottle down, take this PVC, and just push it in there as a support, because you don't want to push it on the bottle. You want to ensure that this PVC pipe, this long one, touches this other short one and push down. So here it is. So now this one is installed. Do not remove this one. There is no need to remove it. So now you fill this up with water and you fill this up with water. So now that you fill this up with water and the other thing is you could actually fill it all the way up. I'm going to show you something that is very interesting. That's why I fill it halfway. Now even if you fill it halfway or not, just ensure that what I'm about to tell you, ensure that you do that. So now you take your bottle and you do this. Now if you notice there's water in there and there's water in there. Now the water in this bottle on top will never go down until the water in this bottle goes into the soil. And here's how it's going to work. When the water starts going down into the soil from this bottle, 
it will eventually pull water down from this one but not all together it will pull it down when it's needed so i'm going to actually manipulate it so you could see so that means if the water actually goes down into the soil it will actually go down literally and this the mouth of the bottle this bottle will be exposed so here's what's going to happen so watch closely you saw that this is what will happen when the water goes from this bottle into the soil seen it so just imagine the water that's going down I mean it's doing it's pulling up now but this is how it will actually work when the water going down so basically the water from this bottle will go into the soil it will pull it down whether it's because the soil is dry or whether it's because the root of the plant actually is pulling the water down either way the water from this bottle will go into the soil and then when it's going into the soil this will be going down so while this is going down it will be pulling water from this but not all together see what it just see what it was just doing that is what will happen so this is why this one is much more effective and efficient so indeed i hope this video has taught you a lot thank you for watching our impromptu tuesday video thank you for subscribing to our youtube channel thank you for liking our facebook page i do encourage you to share these videos especially if you learn something very interesting and you understand about it thank you very much and remember a backyard garden in some ways will keep the doctors away and agro sway is out